Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. This week, come with us inside the Washington, D.C. home of Frederick Douglass, the slave who not only secured his own freedom, but the ear of President Abraham Lincoln. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Park Ranger Kamel McLaren. And on the behalf of the National Park Service, we'd like to welcome you here at the National uh, Historic Site, the last home of Frederick Douglass. He spent his last 17 years here inside this home. Uh, the first wife of Mr. Douglass was Miss Anna Marie Douglass. This is a picture of here. Uh, here. And uh, Mr. Douglass met her while he was uh, 20 years old. Uh, she was six years his senior, so she was, would have been 26 years old. And essentially, they met uh, while Mr. Douglass was hired out as a ship caulker in Baltimore. Uh, and she actually introduced him to the free black community in Baltimore. And what's fascinating about her story is that she, she was a free person of color. And we always jokingly say that Mr. Douglas married up. She was born um, free while many of her siblings were actually born into slavery. And she would eventually help him escape uh, from slavery in 1838 by selling uh, her feather bed and some other belongings as well as paying his passage uh, when he disguised himself up as a sailor and made his way up uh, north. She would live in this home right up to the uh, day that they purchased the home from 1877 up until 1882. She would actually pass away upstairs in her room upstairs. And what's fascinating about that is the home itself was a symbolic gift to her. They were married for 44 years and she actually sort of aided him all throughout his years, uh, his first half of his years and until they purchased the home in 1877. Uh, Mr. Douglas back then paid $6,700 for the home and which is equivalent to about $1.3 million today. So Mr. Douglas was a fairly wealthy man by this uh, time in his life, and, but he always sort of downplayed his actual wealth. In terms of um, commerce, Mr. Douglas was um, a small businessman and an entrepreneur. He bought up several properties throughout the District of Columbia, as well as owning an uh, excellent home like this, uh, such as the Cedar Hill Estate. And then in terms of eloquence, uh, Mr. Douglas was a uh, eloquent speaker and he rose to be one of the top orators of his time. And essentially, um, if you go back and look at newspapers during that period, it would demonstrate and describe him as being a fiery and eloquent uh, orator of that period. You can view more American Artifacts programs online at cspanvideo.org. Enter American Artifacts in the search box.